agenda so that I will I'll be a bit guided. And then before maybe I say some things. The first thing on the agenda uh, is uh, mass is what do we want at this critical time? Immediate disbursement or another delay? Now, uh, why I wrote this was uh, because we have um, a situation right now where I could say that um, we are... I do not think as a person right now from all indication I do not think there is much left anymore I don't see anything left that would not allow this bossman to commence any moment from now after all uh, how many weeks now maybe they have been saying that it can happen anytime from now but what made me to further uh, ask that question if we want disbursement immediate or we want another delay is because i've also tried to monitor some some milestones actually being accomplished some things that they needed to do in actual facts and um, i can see that some of those things in fact for me they have done what necessarily should be done for disbursement to commence so i do not expect any excuse from any quarters at this point as a person based on what i am aware of so uh, just because I am not the one to do the disbursement, I cannot say. Now, uh, let me finish the point before I explain any further uh, about it. Now, I ask whether we want it now because if they are done, that means we should expect immediate disbursement. I mean, we should expect disbursement without any further delay um now the other option why i ask whether we want delayed stuff is the way things have been moving now let me just begin to put it in so that um i've been writing about it is is that the government committee has been working with uh pastor john pastor mopiton and um uh comrade abdul and so far they have gotten to will we are right now so um any adjustment to this arrangement to me would seem as a delay maybe bringing back as we we had the whole of yesterday fighting between the two sides of uag and agpgn trying to bring uag back into it and things like that or maybe apostle kane for me i would only see it as a delay nothing more so the best thing is we just allow it to flow the way it has been flowing yes mistakes have been made uh, some of them grave errors but we have um i speak that as an observer but i i can't speak that as one of them but maybe from what i'm also observing um, um i'm not please don't uh, misinterpret me i am not representing either side i am saying that the choice of who government committee wanted to work with wasn't my choice okay and also and uh, maybe not the choice of agpgn okay but circumstances circumstances played themselves into where we are today whereby even as you heard from apostle kane yesterday is uh, his side has been dropped and so we have a site that government is working with whether uh, the amounts are large or whatever will be brought is another question but the, the the reason why i ask the question or saying whether we want immediate disbursement or delay was that if we allow the present structure to be upset all right we would have um uh delays if anything you know like yesterday now they came up and then they were arguing amongst themselves you could see a gpg inside fire at uag uag fired back and things like that if 
um, from what we know is that uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, some people want to be included. I am saying that if you allow them to be included right now, and the thing does not continue the way it's been continuing, then it will bring delay to this process. The issue of petition and all of that, nobody should write petition at this time. It's not worth it. It is only going to set us backward. However, to an extent, it may not still set us uh, uh, backward. It may not still set us backward. So um, I, I want us to be on the same page with that, that this is not my doing. Um, I'm not taking sides. I'm only saying that what we have come to see is that government is working with Pastor John, Pastor Amopiton, and Comrade Abdul. And let's just allow that to go ahead so that we can have speedy disbursement. Any disturbances or allowing upsets in that balance right now will bring delay. That is why I asked that question. All right. I'm done with that point, uh, that point uh, number one. And uh, let me go to point number two. Uh, we need to now deal with the issues and not sentiments. Now, where we are right now, um, with a lot of things being thrown around yesterday, back and forth, meetings here and there, it's obvious that we need to know uh, what is uh, what, what the issues are and what sentiments are and we just leave the sentiments and just face what is before us okay what is before us is disbursement that is what we want at this point any uh, maybe let us see if we can change the amount to be paid blah blah is just a extra base of delay question is whatever they have made up their minds to bring to the table let them bring it enough is enough we cannot accept any further delay to this let them disburse and things like that so therefore um this is why i said we have to separate issues from sentiments sentiments of you know uh which side you belong sent we, we need to drop all of that right now we just focus on the disbursement and i've already said the side that government is working with let them just go ahead and perfect everything that is left to be done if there is any which i don't think there is anything except maybe going to have a meeting to execute and start this thing i don't think there is anything that they need to do again and again to see what should be done i think most things have been done and perfected therefore we can now move forward and we will now have to hold these people accountable if we didn't see disbursement anytime from now because as far as i said i am concerned like i said i believe there is nothing at this point holding this disbursement if we see any excuses we really have to find out why such excuses and to be candid i don't think we the masses will be ready for any further excuses hereafter because we believe that most things have been done with the confessions coming out you could see write-ups and all of that um uh, uh you know from either side of the divide you know everybody calling for calm and things like that so it means nothing should be an excuse any further the only thing i can say is this let it not be that we come to social media and say let everywhere be peaceful but behind the scene we are fighting i'm talking about agpgn or the uaag side now because what we've observed uh, for the past uh, one week or two is that when one strategy fails because we really saw the uag soldiers come on board you know fight back seriously now uh, when one strategy fails they bring out another one when one strategy fails they bring out the other one so in spite of the fact that we could hear apostle kane last sunday i think that was last week sunday uh so who came out and said um uh, he sues for peace he's not looking for any he himself is not attending any meeting you understand but the following the wahala broke out you know in the grand community from their side again so it's more of like you use the social media to speak nicely but you go behind the scene and still be fighting we use this meeting and this platform to say enough is actually enough 
if you're not fighting in social media don't also fight behind the scene if you're actually fighting come up let us know exactly what the problem is but for now we know that government has chosen a certain direction they're going and there is not much we can do about it that is the situation how did we come i think that will lead me to the next point now um the issue of government committee and how we got here all right the facts about it how did we even get to government committee however anyway anything that government has to do there has to be a committee overseeing that okay most especially being that this is a non-governmental thing there has to be a government committee to oversee you know if we were able to do it by ourselves i don't think there was going to be need for government committee but you see we were not able to do it by ourselves we fought and fought and fought and for me till tomorrow if you remove Move government out of this thing and you leave AGPGN and UAAG to continue to negotiate to see if they can reach a common I do not see any possibility of arriving at a solution we will fight till Jesus returns that is nothing but the truth we, because you do not see both sides agree so if for me it's even a plus that government came in to like okay where do we go how do we move Definitely, when you wash your dirty linens in the public, it is left for those that are seeing you to judge who to work with and who is better and who is not good enough. All right, that doesn't mean that I mean nobody is perfect. Are, are we together? I mean, there is nobody that is perfect. That is what I mean to say. But when you, if two of us are fighting and we always say all the things that we did in the secret publicly, 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 you will draw attention. The person that is observing you will know who is actually wrong and who is not wrong do you understand me or who is better off and this is where we found ourselves the fight between agpg and uag and all of that the, the those that are involved fighting fighting for endless fights so now if, if government wants to step in to do something they will have a direction is it that they throw the two of them away pick up something fresh or they choose one side to work with so we found ourselves in this place because no side agreed to a common terms of reference issue of greed and exchanges of a, a lot of no but about where we are right now so whatever finally would come let us accept it and go our way period that is how i can put it because we have allowed the fights and you know we've watched our dirty linen in the public and then it, we have left the judgment for passerby to do what to interpret who we are and and that's it the way we are so we found ourselves here that's how government committee came in they have decided these are obvious facts and guess what government knows all you you see the truth is um uh government is not really stupid do you understand me they will be observing and all of that so well let's cut all that short yesterday in the meeting between uh aken and the ceos you know uh, of course he came to the point that he's actually been removed do you understand me uag is out of this game so question is now that um to those that this uh thing belongs to right now they should go ahead and then uh try to fix it and get this thing going because we don't need any excuse again therefore with that i can now say that with uag not being directly involved again now with akn being set aside let agpgn or the few the, the, the those people working with government committee proceed immediately because they cannot give us excuse again that it is you know one apostle or, or uag that is giving them problem and that is why also i would still reiterate that uag or anyone fighting should not say he's he's not he's calling for peace in public but behind the scene is still fighting so we don't want to see because we've had such you know media resolution before and they said they have settled they said they have settled next thing you see one write up from one group from one side coming to public space you just know that they are still fighting we don't want to see such things tomorrow as tomorrow begins now we want the agpgn people that are working with government committee go ahead and give us quick disbursement period we will not you know uh, then any other person uag side should lay down their arms like they are calling for and should not fight be it on social media or behind the scene what we want to begin to see from tomorrow is result things that make us know that this thing will be done and all of that we expect that this month shouldn't pass i mean it's our expectation we have the the right or right is is our right to decide when and think we we, we don't want this month to pass we will need 
you know disbursement um let me proceed to the the, the next point and all of that um um the, the issue of which side okay government is working with this i have said they have chosen which side they're working with pastor john pastor amopitong and um, uh, comrade abdul and all of that and then the issue of taking sides really nobody should take sides at this point just just take side with the government that is working with the people that's how i would say it. what i mean is that encourage them to go ahead and do what and this boss that is where the thing is we don't need to start fighting amongst ourselves start fighting again about agpg and uaag and all of that no let's just focus on the committee and the people the committee is working with that is just the side we, we we just have to focus on period so it's not about taking sides and belonging to in that that represents our interest as masses because it has to do with disbursements and that's the interest of all of us so if we support that side and then uh, encourage them to go ahead and do the disbursement that means we are favoring our own cause because that is what it is exactly all right the issue of palliative or grant i do not believe as a person it is palliative because um uh why i said i don't believe it's palliative even if it is small for whatever reason it this we, we didn't go for palliative and um we cannot be getting palliative now uh, uh you know i've heard of things like projects is inside and all of that and uh, then the, the this other cash side and we have had arguments like government is doing focusing on the project or something and all of that and so uh, maybe they want to keep more money to do projects and then give out this other side uh, this other part for the for the people to have something so you know uh, because we need cbn to disburse this money we cannot decide final the finality of how everything goes government will look at the economic uh, you know situation and tell us whatever they believe in i'm not saying they're correct or they are wrong i am only saying that um uh, uh issue of grants or palliative this is grants i don't think governments would ever you know project uh, project in palliative i don't see project in palliative but this has a project a component which you know uh, is going to definitely be grants they are giving out whatever that amount is as i tell you right now i don't know even though even if i knew i may not say it because maybe it's not allowed to be said so but all i can know is uh, is what has been done for us to know whether we are close to disbursement or not is to look at the milestones the certain things they needed to do which i have seen some things have been done or uh, in fact to me there is nothing left to be done and so disbursement should commence immediately period and that is how i would like to approach that but i i know it is grant and not palliative that is what i know the amount i'm not i don't know and uh, whatever they will bring we accept it in good faith and move forward uh, with our lives i believe there will always be better opportunities all right um uh the issue of who is to disburse let's leave that like i said let's just talk about the people that are working with the government committee let them just proceed and give us what disbursement looking for who would come and disburse now is only going to be more delayed uh, let's go and bring one person from uh, the other place to come and do this but at this dying minute no nobody needs any changes right now the people that have been working let them proceed and don't give us excuses again let them go ahead and do the disbursement that is our stand on this on this matter uh, the uproar between uh, that's the next on the agenda uproar between agpgn and uaag uh, is any side afraid of something um uh, uh, to an extent at least from my observation to an extent i believe there's something the uag side was afraid of all right that uh, brought about this thing and i think to an extent they they did not have direct access as they used to have before so there was a reason to be afraid of or to you know to want to know what is going on and what is not going on and they didn't really have that information available at their disposal as they used to have since apostle Cain has been set on the side and so some things were not communicating or communicated any any longer as it used to be so they felt like they were left out of information they needed to know but what i can say is that there had been some changes all right even having to do with the committee and then there probably a new direction as to how things should be done and all of that and uh, 
so far uh, i believe we are very close to disbursement and so that is what we should be focused on right now to ask you know for that disbursement to happen anytime beginning now we don't want any excuse anymore and now we say even if there was fight or something to fear the obvious is the obvious what will come will come so whichever side feels cheated well, that is the situation we found ourselves. But what we need to do at this point is get our disbursement. They had all the time. They would have sorted themselves out. If at this time they did not sort themselves out, let the committee go ahead with what needs to be done. And that is nothing but disbursement. And do the disbursement. We are tired of waiting for either side of the divide. And we don't want to really belong to their issues. If they used to eat together before and now they are not eating again, it shouldn't be any of our business let the committee with the people that have chosen to work with progress or proceed with the disbursement this is how i would like to you know uh, talk about that for now um yes that still leads me to the last point on that uh, agenda we now plead as a people uh, with the government committee and pastor felix pastor john and ambassador comrade abdu Please proceed with immediate disbursement of this money. All the people you mentioned and talked about that were your enemies, yesterday most of them confessed. Today I've seen a write-up from Power 5 uh, backing down. And, uh, you know, everybody is like surrendering from one corner or the other. And I hope it's true surrendering, all right, or true surrender. So right now, from if we take all those write-ups and voice notes that we've seen out there as being valid okay as as being what they can defend the, the writers and those who made the voice notes if they can defend them then it means that agpgn and the people that government committee is working with don't have any other excuse about who is blocking or who attempts to block we can only say that those that may have been interested in writing petition should not at this point so that we just we just avoid all things all issues all things that may bring up any distraction right now is not needed we just have to give the system a small test and see if we cannot get something done this week then we can now say wow we think we have tried then we ourselves to now say okay let us make moves and know what next to be done or take the necessary action i know we have talked about protests i know we've talked about press come we've talked about quite some things so uh it is even a plan b and things like that um but going by the fact that some milestones have been accomplished some things i can say they have done and have confirmed certain things have been done which are my indicators as to how ready things may be but since i'm not the one to do the disbursement i may just say that i haven't seen anything left again to be done other than what disbursement so we expect nothing else else or less than disbursement any moment from now and this should be our expectation throughout this week hopefully that before this month still runs out our expectation is that they should find a way and disburse that money because we do not see any stumbling block we plead with government we plead with government and the federal government of this country for the sake of the dying masses nigerians are going through a lot of hardship now and we believe that this hardship is avoidable is completely avoidable and that you should show us concern as a government which or whose primary responsibility is welfare by the constitution of this federal republic so please pay attention to this and hurriedly you know ensure that the masses get disbursement of this money we are tired of the wait it's been a long protocol of processes and things that are done and at this point from war all indication all t's have been crossed all i's have been dotted so we don't see any further reason to have a delay anymore so please we plead with government we nigerians generally assume that you don't care about us but please convince us that that is not true by proceeding to do the needful earliest any time from now because we know you have what it takes to do it, be it human resources, financial resources, financial technology, or technological resource also, you have it. So please proceed and do it. Uh, uh, Abdul, uh, Felix, and John, do everything you can. Masses are not smiling. Nobody's happy with the situation of things now. We are tired. We are tired. And we say, ignore everything 
you have to ignore and help and ensure disbursement commences immediately. No further excuse. Normally, what we observe is that every Monday is as if there was nothing done at all. They have to start fresh talks. They have to have fresh meetings. They have to, you know, and, and that's why I'm always scared of the week finishing without a disbursement. Because the next week is going to be an, as if we start afresh. Please, let all things be set down for disbursement to masses. This is how far I'd like to go at this point. And uh, I would like to, you know, uh, hold pause here, open the floor and ask for anyone that wants to uh, contribute uh, something to this. All I can say is ask government committee and the people that have been working with in our grand pressure group to proceed with disbursement. That is all you just need to say. All right. One of the ways of solving a problem is by removing all the you know, uh, 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 collect like terms. You understand me? Take away all the things that are not necessary in the equation and just bring only the like terms so that you can hit the solution faster. So we have seen that with all the voice notes flying around our meetings yesterday, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, surrendering and things like that, uh, everybody calling for peace. So now we believe the coast is clear for this busman to happen. And we want to see nothing else but disbursement any moment from now. So please, what you need to do is I've tried to clear all the air for you to, to see the direction that we need to call on government committee and then the people they are working with to proceed with the disbursement. That's all I'm saying. So that you don't you don't need to talk much. We are not arguing here, no taking of sides. There already had been a direction of how things should go. And that is the direction I say, okay, let them proceed now. We don't want stories any further. All right, thank you very much. Please, if you want to have to say something, please show by a lift of hand, and then we will uh, give you the floor to speak.